What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 45 minute glutes and abs max out workout. So grab your dumbbells and your glute resistance bands if you have them and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our glutes and abs max out workout. And if you did yesterday's workout on the channel, the full body max out dumbbell workout, very similar format. We're gonna have three rounds, 30 seconds of work for one and two and three. On number two, I want you to count your reps. Number three, I want you to beat that number, okay? If you don't beat that number, you're not failing in the workout. I just want you to know there's your best and then there's just a little bit deeper, a little bit next level for yourself. So round three is just as hard as you can work, okay? The initiative is to max out your effort in round number three, okay? So make sure you grab your water and your sweat towel. Also, I have my glute resistance bands here today, so if you have yours, go ahead and pull them out. If you don't, you can grab yours in the description. I also have my sliders, okay? I mentioned yesterday I was gonna show you glute resistance band exercises with the full length resistance bands if you don't have dumbbells for instance. I have those as your modification, but I also wanna show you something as a setup before we get started. If you wanna take this workout on the road without dumbbells and you have some of these longer pull-up bands. For the kettlebell swing and the glute bridge, they are both a hinge motion, right? So you're going from bent to full hip extension. If you don't have dumbbells and you have a way to anchor a resistance band onto something that's preferably about hip height, you can always put it on your hips, ground yourself in your heels, shift back, full extension in your hips, tight glute squeeze, okay? So that's something you'll have to set up before we start the workout, so that's why I wanna show you here, okay? The whole point is this hip extension, okay? So preferably you wanna put that somewhere right around your hip height so it's not coming from the floor, but just wanted to show you that, okay? Also, I'm gonna use a dumbbell for those kettlebell swings or kettlebell for the kettlebell swings today. So if you have that, go ahead and pull it out and let's get started. Ready? All right, nice wide stance. I'm gonna have you hinge down first in two, one, let's go. Good, bend one leg, keep one leg straight. Great work. Just kind of opening up your inner thighs. I want you to shift your weight back into your heels and push out of your heels. Great work. Three, two, one. Come back in the middle. Put left hand on the floor, right hand to the sky. Down and switch. Down and switch. Last one, down and switch. Great job, walk your hands over to the left foot and turn your toes over facing the left side. And we're gonna take it down, tapping the back knee and push it up, straightening out the front leg. Keep that going. Good, one more, take it all the way down, stretch, stretch, stretch those hips and push it up, stretch your hamstring, and walk it into the front, and over to the right side. There you go, drop that back knee down. Good, the first hip stretch is always really nice. Let's push it back up. And back down, two more times through that flow. And press up. Last one, take it down. And push it up, great job. And walk it back into the middle. Pull your feet in just a little bit deeper and sink your hips down. As you open your chest up, go ahead and stand up for me. Good work, side to side with your reach. Stretch out your obliques. Two, one, great job. Forwards with your hips. Really good hip extension. And back, and forth. Great work. Good. All right, 
One last rotation here. Tap and tap. Four, three, two, one. And grab your glute resistance band. I'm gonna go with my medium. We've got a little activation set. Squat, leg lift, leg lift, squat, okay? So, looks like this. You're gonna go squat to the side, to the back, squat. Side, back, squat, okay? So grab your band. If you don't have your band, you can do this body weight or you can hold dumbbells on your sides. Two, one, let's go. Good, take your time here. This is just activation. Okay, so I want you to feel your glutes lifting your heel. Great job, and if you need to take the band off to feel it, totally fine. The whole point here is connecting, neuromuscular connection. Five, four, two, one. All right, now we're gonna jump into our first exercise, squat and leg lift, okay? I'm gonna take my 20 pound dumbbell, okay? I'm going here, squat, lift, okay? Holding it goblet squat style, or you can hold here, all right? Or you can hold kind of butterfly style here. Ready? Five, you've got 30 seconds. Two, one, let's go. Squat, lift. Good, so getting into the groove on round one. You don't have to worry about counting. Round two, I want you to count. Every lift, one, and two, and three, okay? Good job, five, four, three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest, round two, you're gonna count. Just get into your head, okay? Exhale, one, two, okay? Count your reps. Round three, we're gonna beat that number. Two, one, let's go. Good, lift with your heel. 15. Good, stop there. Whatever number you just got, beat that number in round three. Or just work a tiny bit harder. It's about the effort, max out your effort. Four, three, two, one, come on. There you go, come on. 15. Go, go, go. Two, one, and rest. Great job. And hopefully you beat that number. Hopefully round three, you turned it up. Max out your effort. Grab some water. So today's workout, you're going from glutes to abs. Unless it's a single leg glute move, then we'll do both legs, then abs. Whew. Okay. Straight arm sit-ups. Your modification will be body weight to use your arms to sit up, okay? Otherwise, if you can go dumbbells, your dumbbell goes from the chest over top the crown of your head. Watch this, exhale, straight arms the whole time, okay? So round one, get into your groove. Round two, you count. Round three, you beat that. Come on, compete with your best self. Five, dumbbells over your chest or hands. Two, one, exhale, go. Good, get into your groove here. Okay. 
Like you're pushing the resistance from your chest to the ceiling. Two, one, rest. Good. Round two, if you want to go heavier, grab it. All right, count your reps. Good quality. Don't sacrifice quality for speed, ever. Three, two, one, go. Fifteen. Two, one, rest. However many you fully completed, you're gonna beat that number in round three. Come on, max effort. We're maxing out our strength this week. Let's go, five, four, three, exhale. Two, one, go. Yes, you can. Fifteen. Come on. Two, one, rest. Great job. Grab some water. We're getting into it here. All right, you can move your towel. Next exercise. You've got what I was talking about earlier, the single leg. We're gonna go lunge to kick back lift. Okay, so the first round you have your right leg out front. What I want you to do is take that back heel basically down and then to the sky, okay? So with dumbbells, you can go here, here, just like normal, wherever you wanna hold the resistance. You go down, as you come up, you shift your weight over this front leg, lift the heel. Take it back, down, lift. Down, hinge, lift, okay? If you need to keep your foot on the floor and come up, then lift, that's fine, totally fine. Just the right leg. I'm gonna go with my 30 pound dumbbell, okay? And we'll go in 15 seconds. Grab the weight or weights that you wanna use. I'm gonna use the weight 30 on the same side as my right leg, right hand. Ready? Let's go. Good, round one, get your bearings. Come out of the lunge, slight shift forward to the half hinge, lift, okay? I'm gonna switch hands. All right, that feels a little bit better for me. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good. Same thing. Round two, you're counting how many lifts you get. Okay, so this is one. This, two. Okay, three seconds. Grab your weight. Let's count them. Two, one. Fifteen. Two, one, rest, good. Same leg, one last round. You beat that number, push through the burn. I know you're feeling it, I'm feeling it too. Four, come on round three, let's go. Max out, two, one, come on. Fifteen. Twenty-one. 
two, one, rest. Oh, right leg is burning. You've got 30 seconds. And we do the same thing, keeping the left leg stationary. 15 more seconds, grab water. All right, left leg stays. We go in five, round one, just get into it. Two, one. Five, four, two, one. All right, let's go. Count how many times you shoot that heel to the sky. Remember to keep your core tight. Remember all the work we did in tier one? It's for this. Three, two, one. Let's go, count your reps. Fifteen. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, beat that number now. Round three, beat it, yes you can. Core is tight, big deep breath. Yes you can, max out your effort, two, one, come on. Fifteen, come on. Oh, beautiful job. Grab some water. Hopefully round three, you crushed it. Great work. Water, and then we're gonna go into a core burner bicycles, okay? No dumbbells here. All right. So, 15 seconds, you're gonna count the over and back as one. So every time you go left elbow to right leg, that's one. So one, two, three. Ready? Crunch it up, let's go. And right now you're not counting, you're just getting into it. Good, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, round two, you go. Why do I just want you to count one side? I want you to exhale as you count. So you inhale, one, two, three, okay? Ready, count your reps, let's go. Fifteen. Rest. Good, stop, breathe. Know that number. Here's another way you can do it. You can start from one higher than that number and count down. So say I got 25. I could start at 26 and go 26, five, four. Okay, let's go, just beat that number. Here we go.
15. Rest. Oh, breathe. Great job. Maxing out on your core work. Grab water. And we're going to go side abs and side abs. So you got a little core stint here in the middle. Then we'll go to some kettlebell swings. So I'm kind of giving your glutes a rest so we can get max power out of those swings. Okay? All right, so we're gonna start on your right elbow. Modifications will be up there, as always. But what I want is hip sinks down to the floor, right hip, and then you use that right oblique to push your left hip all the way up to the sky. Okay, we'll go in nine seconds. If you're feeling good, stack your feet. Five, four, round one, just get into it. Two, one, let's go. Get off your shoulder. Same thing, round two. If you wanna stack your knees, you can. Okay, breathe. Count your reps here. Three, come on. Two, one, be aggressive with it. Let's go. Fifteen. And rest. Great job. So whatever that number is, you can either start one higher and work your way down, or just work the same way from zero up to whatever your number was, or one above it. Ready, come on. Two, one, let's go, max out, crush it. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one and rest. Oh, my shoulder is so tired from those max out shoulder presses yesterday. I feel you. Other side, let's go. Roll it over. And if it feels better for you to go on your hand, I welcome this. Okay? I'm always looking for safety here, of course. Technique is number one. We go again in five. Come on, left side. Four. Round one, just get into it. Two, one, let's go. Kind of feel the stretch down here on the bottom. Rest your shoulder. <sighs> Round two, we count. Round three, we beat it. I really like the method of starting one higher and then working down. Okay, let's go. Count your reps. Two, one, come on. Fifteen seconds, come on. And rest. 
chest. Good. So whatever that number was for you, start. Let's go two above it. Okay, so say I got 20. I'm gonna start at 22 and work my way down. See how you do with that mentally, okay? Add two and count down. Ready? Let's go. Seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Rest. Good. Oh my gosh. Breathe. Come on, grab some water. That's one of those cases I did not beat my number. What did not happen? I didn't fail. I'm not quitting. It's no big deal. I worked very hard in round three, and that's the goal, okay? So if you didn't beat a number one time, do not worry, you move on, and you go the next round just as hard. All right, let's go. Keep your mind right. Here's our swings. Kettlebell, if you have one, pull it out. You got your longest rest of the day right here. Okay. So about 30 seconds left in your rest. All right, so the swing. Make sure you are not driving your back into a rounded position, okay? So you're here, it's back, power forward, okay? Let's go in three. Two, one, get into it, come on. Dig the heels in, hips extend. If you start to get up onto your toes, you're not squeezing your glutes hard enough, okay? Dig the heels, squeeze the glutes. Control the lower. Four, two, one, rest, good. Round two, count your reps. Great job. Seven, and this one's gonna be more about technique and keeping the technique all three rounds, okay? I don't want you to speed through this and lose form. Let's go, count your reps. One rest, good. Ooh. Work harder in the last round. Maybe that's adding weight. Maybe that's hitting your same number. Don't sacrifice form, whatever you do. This is a power move. Two, one, let's go, max effort. Five, two, one, rest. Oh. Great work. Good job. Grab water. Breathe. That's one of those moves I'm really focused on how well you move instead of how many reps you can get, which is always the case. By the way, I'm never challenging you to move so fast that you compromise your form, ever. But especially those big power moves where there's a lot of spinal flexion. Just power, good form with good power. That's the key, great job so far. We're moving on to some core. You've got seated twist. Dumbbell if you would like, body weight or a towel which you'll see in the modification over here. Let's go in seven seconds, are you ready? Four, two, 
One, and we're off. Let's go. Great job, round two, you count your reps. So it's one, two, three, four, okay? Here we go, five, three, two, one, count your reps. Good form to beat the number. Don't swing around like you don't care. You care. You're strong. Two, one, let's get it. Going for a powerful glute move again. Glute bridges. Okay, if you want to pull out a box or a bench to put your shoulders on, feel free to do that. Okay, three rounds of 45 seconds here. I like to give you a little longer on the bridges because I know how strong your glutes are. I know how powerful this glute exercise is in isolating those glutes. Okay. And we're gonna go in 10 seconds, just your powerful glute bridge. And if you wanna put your glute resistance band on, you can. Ready? Two, one, 45 seconds right here. Good job, round one, get into it. Thirty seconds. Ten, nine, two, one. Great job. Resistance band if you would like. Round two, you count your reps. I'm going with the heavy. Five. Let's go. Three, two, one. We're off. Let's go. One. right here use the same weight same resistance and we beat the number we just got breathe 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 four three two one 
Let's go. Twenty seconds. Five, two, one, rest. Good. Oh, boy. All right. Come on up. Take your band off, move that dumbbell out of the way. Great job. We're going to some core now. And this is where you can pull your slider out or if you don't have a slider, anything that moves on the surface that you're working out on. So if you have any type of hard floor, concrete, wood, something slick like a towel will work or the bottom side of your sliders. If you have something that is carpet, you'll flip it over, something plastic like a paper or a plastic plate or a slider, okay? We're going into slider tucks. Three rounds of 30 seconds. <sighs> okay, so you're up on your hands, high plank. You bring both feet together, and you see the modification up there. You can do this without the slider as well. Ready? Let's go, round one, just pull it in. Make sure you're lifting your hips up and not bringing your knees in and putting weight on them like this, okay? Think of like a crunch. Okay, you know how you sit up in a crunch like this? That's how I want you to feel. Crunched up, spine is rounded. Good, three, two, one, rest. Now, if you wanna go down to your forearms, that will be a little more stable for your upper body. It'll be a little more challenging for your core to lift up. Five seconds, make your decision. You're counting your reps right here. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Pull with your abs, not with your arms and legs. Three, two, one, rest. <sighs> one more time. Beat that number. Or max out your work effort right here. Five, if you don't beat it, you're good. Work as hard as you can. Two, one, come on. out of the way. We're gonna move them across the floor for your next exercise. Single legs, Romanian deadlifts. You've got 30 seconds per leg, three rounds. I'm gonna use my 30 pound dumbbell for round one, which will be on our right leg, okay? You have the choice to stagger or to lift, okay? Twelve seconds, and we go. Right leg stays. Five, two, one, round one, let's go. Figure out your groove, get into it. Remember, it's all about hinging the hip, squeezing it to come right back under your ribs. 
15. Two, one, rest. Great work, go up if you would like. Round two, here's where we count. And if you're going super heavy, feel free to tap your toe. Ready? Two, one, and we count. Two, one. Oh. One more round. Beat that number. Keep the factors the same. Same weight. Ready. Three, come on, max your effort out. Two, one. Three, two, ah, rest. Oh my gosh. 30 seconds rest and we go to the other side. Nice work. Keep your form throughout. Okay, do not slow or speed up and sacrifice your form. Left leg stays. Let's go seven. Three, two, round one. Let's go. Good work, 14. Five, two, one. All right, round two, count those reps. Ready, five, three, two, one. Come on. Seven, six, three, come on, come on, two, one, max it out right here. to the finish. Mountain climber, slider sprint that is. Okay. So, two sliders under your feet in 10 seconds. You're going for it. Right here. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Arms or hands. The point is your core is lifting and you're crunching your abs. Round one, just get into it.
Good job. Woo. 10. Three, two, one. Round two, you count them, every single knee. So one, two, three, four. Ready? Come on, let's count it out loud. Five, four, three, two, come on. Keep your abs up. Good job, you've got 10 seconds. Five, four, rest. Okay, 10 seconds. I don't care if you have to go crazy, make noises, drop down on your elbows, go to your hands, you beat that number. This is it, two, one, come on. Good job. Come on, 12, 11. Five, four. Go, 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 two, one. And breathe. Drop down to your hands and knees. Shift it back. Reach forward. You've made it to your cool down. Amazing, amazing job. Come on up. Switch it forward. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. Glutes and abs max out. Done. I hope, just like the title says, you maxed out in round three for your efforts. Great work. All right, let's flip it over to a seated position. All right. Legs are out to the side. Roll forward here. Big deep breath. In, fill up your lungs nice and wide. Don't lift your shoulders. Go out with your lungs. Exhale. Great work. I'm lengthening here. We're lengthening the muscles back to their normal length tension relationships. Good job, bring one leg out in front, the other leg's right on the inside. Reach out. Good work today, breathe, let that sweat fall, you've earned it. Good, now fold right over the bent leg, knee, get deep into that inner thigh, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Great job, push up, let's switch sides. Right out to the straight leg first. Breathe, I'm so proud of you today. I'm proud of you every day. But in this moment, right here, that you and I are together, fold over your knee now, that bent knee. I just want you to take a second to be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you every day for showing up, for doing your best, or maybe even for just fighting through everything that you had to do in a day to get to the point where you give this workout to your body as a contribution to your wealth and your overall wellness. Your, your wealth, I meant your wellness and your health, I just combined them. Your overall wellness. Okay, come on your hands and knees. Drop your hips down forward. <sighs> Exhale. Each day that you show up for yourself is a day that you're contributing to your wellness, mental health, physical health, and even if what you do in a day has nothing at all to do with the workout to get stronger legs, or just movement to have a stronger and more healthy mind, that is wellness, okay? Tuck your toes, lift your hips up in the air. Movement in itself, your body meant to move. You're always gonna release some endorphins when you just get your body moving, not to mention getting some blood flow which helps with recovery and also mental clarity. 
Just kind of reviving the energy in your body. Okay, walk back to your toes. Just hang out here for a second. And just know that what you do in a day is contributing to your wellness. Okay, not every day is a day you have to think about your body weight or your body fat percentage or the size pants that you're in or you wanna be in. Just think about how well your body is and your mind, okay? Is it something that, hands over your head, pull up and over. Is it something where you're in a really good place? Mentally, you appreciate your strength. That's something so many people are working hard to achieve, so do not negate your ability to be proud of that. Switch sides, okay? On the days where it just feels good, you're feeling well. That's something that a lot of people are yearning for each day. So don't take that for granted. On a day where you just wake up, not that you have to feel sore. You don't need to feel sore and exhausted and tired. Just think, yeah, my workouts are benefiting me. Okay, if you're waking up and you're feeling well and strong and grateful, that's something that so many people are working so hard to achieve. So don't take that for granted. Okay, always, always be grateful for your abilities and your strength and your wellness, your immunity, okay? Your body's ability to heal and recover and just be strong overall, okay? I'm so proud of you every day and I want you to make sure you're engaging with this channel so that you continue to come back and do things that contribute to your wellness, okay? I want you to wake up tomorrow and say, wow, I'm really thankful for my body and my health. Okay, before you look in the mirror and you start picking at yourself, which I don't want you to do, but before you do that and you start pointing out all these things that you think of as imperfections, your body is well and strong and capable and you've got to stop right there and be grateful for that, okay? Before anything else, we all have goals, of course, but you can't forget about the abilities and the strength that you've worked so hard to build, okay? Keep rocking with your goals, but also be appreciative right here, right now and don't pick yourself apart for this ideal of perfection that you have. You're perfect right now. You're strong, you're capable, and we have these abilities. We cannot forget how great it is to feel this strong, okay? So I love you. I want you to think about that. Every morning you wake up, go to the mirror, I am so strong, and then move on with your day. Brush your teeth, get started, drink some water, okay? And leave it there, and just watch how your mood and your lifestyle tends to shift into positivity, all right? Keep being strong for yourself. I want you to make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification. And I will see you right back here tomorrow. Very proud of you today. See you guys.